So crews were called out to a call 100, air, 100 block of Aaron Grove, southeast. Crews arrived to find a fully involved single family residence. At that point, they went to what we call a defensive attack. All the occupants had self evacuated prior to our arrival. So the crews quickly knocked down the flames from the interior, or from the exterior rather. They did an interior search and to confirm that everybody was out. The Calgary Police Service actually evacuated the three of the homes prior to our arrival to assist us as well. I was, we were working in the backyard and Marilyn said that she heard some commotion in the front. So she said, I'm just going to go check what it is. And she turned around, she went back, she came there, she came running out, she goes, on fire. It's like, what? Our house is on fire? She goes, no, the neighbor's house is on fire. It's heard. It sounded like people yelling and I mean, there's always kids on the street playing. So I just, I'm like, I'm just going to go check because, you know, sometimes kids get into trouble and our vehicles are out front. So I just went and I just saw like a wall of flames up the side of the house and the neighbors had a hose and they were trying to put it out. And then the police came and told them to just get away, get away. And they were just making everybody move. So they were trying to put it out with a hose, but I think it's right too quickly. The gas meter being burnt was secondary to the fire. So the fire was actually started somewhere. That's not, that's where it crept to. That wasn't the source of the origin, but that from the early estimates. As far as the initial cause of the fire, that's still under investigation.